let us look at the next chapter which is chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is the branch of physical chemistry which deals with the rate and mechanism of chemical reactions now these rate of reactions can be influenced by many factors and these factors can be pressure temperature or catalyst let us understand what is rate of reaction in any particular reaction there can be two factors which are either reactants or products any reactant will combine together to form products now these the rate of reaction can basically be defined as change in the concentration of reactant or the product per unit change in time and this can be basically denoted as delta c divided by delta t which means delta means change in c means concentration of reactant or product divided by delta t which means per unit time change in per unit time so this is the formula of rate of reaction now next let us look at an example and understand this much better here in this example we have a reactant which is a which forms a product b now the rate average rate of consumption of a is equal to delta concentration of a concentration of a means the concentration of reactant in this example divided by delta t similarly average rate of formation of b reactants are going to be consumed and the products are going to be formed so average rate of formation of b is equal to delta concentration of the product which is b divided by time taken for the formation so now one important difference we can see here is that for the rate of consumption of a we can see negative sign whereas for the rate of formation of b we can see a positive sign why is this a difference because the reactants are going to be consumed and their concentration is going to decrease that is why we have a negative sign here whereas the products are going to be formed and their concentration is going to increase and that is why we have a positive sign here now let us look at units of rate of reaction if the concentration of the reactant or the product is in liters then we can say that the unit of rate of reaction is moles per liter per second why because concentration in liters is represented by moles per liter and s means the unit of time similarly if the reactant and or the product is in gaseous form then the concentration of that particular gas is represented in atmospheres which is atm and that is why atmosphere per second that is the rate of reaction now that we have seen the rate of reaction let us look at order of reaction it is given by the number of molecules which influence the rate of reaction now let us understand this with the help of an reaction here n1a plus n2b gives a product where n1 stands for moles of reactant a and n2 stands for moles of reactant b we can see the rate of this chemical reaction by using rate law expression which expresses r is equal to k concentration of a raised to n1 concentration of b raised to n2 where n1 and n2 are moles of reactant a and reactant b respectively k is the rate constant and r is the rate of reaction now this particular order is defined by experimental setup 
and not by the stoichiometric coefficient of that reaction. The total order of this particular reaction is given by N is equal to N1 plus N2. Examples are C2H5Cl in the gaseous state that is why we have in bracket G gives C2H4 in the gaseous state plus HCl in the gaseous state. Now as we can see here the molecules which are influencing the rate of reaction are C2H5Cl which is only one molecule and that is the reason why by rate law expression we have rate R is equal to K into concentration of that reactant and as we can see here there is no coefficient to it that is this is only one molecule or one mole of that particular reactant that is why the order is first order. Similarly if we look at this particular reaction here we have two moles of NO plus one mole of O2 will give us two moles of NO2. And that is the reason why we have by rate law which is again experimentally proved not by the stoichiometric coefficients. We can see that R is equal to K into NO2 O2 and here we can see that N1 is equal to 2 and N2 is equal to 1 and that is the reason why the total which is 2 plus 1 will give us third order reaction. Let us look at molecularity of elementary reactions. Molecularity is given by number of molecules which participate in a chemical reaction. As we have seen order means the number of molecules which influence a particular rate of reaction whereas this is plainly number of molecules which just take part in the reaction. So, we can understand this molecularity concept by looking at some examples. Now these can be subdivided into unimolecular, bimolecular or trimolecular reactions. Let us see some examples and understand them in detail. The first subdivision which is unimolecular. As the name itself suggests only one molecule is going to interact and form the product or is going to be affected and is going to form the products. So as we can see here N2O5 is just one molecule and it forms these two products. The rate of reaction is given by K concentration of this reactant which is N2O5 and only one reaction that is why it is said to be unimolecular. By this law we can see that the it is first order reaction because here we have only N1 which is equal to 1 and N2 is equal to 0 because there is only one reactant. Now the next category which is bimolecular as the name suggests bi means 2 that means there are two molecules which are actually going to take part in the reaction and that is why the rate law defines that it is K concentration of first molecule and into concentration of second molecule which is O. Now here N1 which is the subscript of this is equal to 1, N2 is equal to 1 and that is the reason why it is a bimolecular reaction and N1 plus N2 says that it is a second order reaction. Similarly, the third classification is trimolecular. Again as the name suggests there are three molecules which are going to take part in the reaction and form products. So here we have two molecules of NO and one molecule of O2 is going to take part in the reaction and form the product. Now here rate is given by K into concentration of NO which is the first molecule raised to 2 why because we have 2 molecules into O2 which is concentration of O2. Now here we can see that 2 molecules of O2 plus 1 molecule of 
two molecules of NO plus one molecule of O2 will give us total three molecules which are participating in the reaction. That is why it is a trimolecular reaction. And the order is defined by N is equal to N1 plus N2. In this case, N1 is 2 and N2 is 1. And that is the reason why it is a third order reaction. So, we have seen how the molecularity of a particular reaction can be defined. And it is only dependent on the number of reactants participating in the reaction. And it does not depend on the products.